it's officially the Virginia and Dr. Thomas Galt Fine Arts Center. Uh, Dr. Galt, uh, fascinating story, 19 years old, in Cornersville, 1938, looked like he was just going to work on the family farm as the de Depression waged on, and his uncle sold his milk uh, herd to Martin College so that they could have some uh, milk and income. Then the president turned around and asked him now, who can operate this dairy, who can operate this dairy operation? And he said, well, i got a nephew, he's a nice, small, smart boy, would love to go to college, can't afford it, but he knows how to run a dairy operation. So, so Tom Galt got to come here to run the college's new dairy, and in, in return he got tuition and room and board. 1938, that fall, was the first year that men were admitted as uh, students. And Tom Galt, Thomas Galt, came a month early to operate the dairy farm. So it is, can be argued that a case can be made that Tom, Thomas Galt was the very first male student in the history of Martin College. And his second year, the fall of 39, he was also a manager for the football team that we had for three years. And here in the gym, he found an empty office that wasn't being used, and so he made that his dorm room. So I've kind of mentioned that this is the ultimate home makeover. I mean, this is a man who actually lived in, may have been the only person other than a coach to, to sleep here. I'm sure coaches slept in their offices some. When you walk into the, the Galt Center, the first thing you notice is that the floor uh, looks different than most, than most brand. The original basketball court, now it doesn't, because the, the pieces of wood have been taken apart and reassembled, you don't get the, the jump circle, the three second line, the half court line. It's sort of a, a artistic hodgepodge of, of colors. Uh, we've actually had one, at least one uh, graduate of the school from the 50s whom the president walked through here and he became very emotional when he saw that floor. And we expect that there will be folks that will have that experience. They'll walk in and, and uh, once they realize it, because we're going to have, a, have an explanation on the wall. Uh, on this wall, there will be a, uh, a very stunning illustration of our new All Steinway School. We're, we're the 96th college in the world, 96th campus in the world to get the designation of All Steinway, which means that every piano in this performing venue, classrooms, studios, the entire music program will be Steinway pianos. We had a gift of 12 Steinways from uh, Bill and Harriet Norrie here in Pulaski. Uh, she is a lifelong piano student and teacher. Her mother and grandmother are Martin alumna. They, uh, she would spend childhoods here from Florida uh, and actually took lessons as a, a little girl here while she was staying with her grandmother. So she's always had an affection for uh, Martin and Pulaski, and so she and Bill retired here in 1990. Uh, small piano recital rooms. They are with uh, the sound baffles are in, in each room. This will have a stand. Each of these will have a Steinway piano uh, for practice and rehearsal by individual piano students. And across the hall, we have one, two, three, four of those. And then across the hall, we have the actual um, class. Uh, the actual offices of our music faculty. Um, um, really, really small college campus goes one of the most prettiest mm -hmm. campuses that you'll that you'll find anywhere.